The question is, the condition highlighted by the arrow in the occlusal radiograph in an 8-year-old child could be due to. Okay, so I am enlarging the image and what you can see in the image over here is that you have the central incisors which are still in the process of forming because you can see that the apex formation is not complete. Both you have the right as well as the left central incisors. In between the two central incisors, you have another tooth like structure which is being developed and that root has also just undergoing development. There is no complete uh, development of the root as in there is no apical closure. So, you have the two central incisors and in between the two central incisors, you have another tooth like structure which is radio opaque. You can see that it is radio opaque and it is occupying the place in between or right in the center of the entire maxillary oral maxillary uh, arch. So, such a characteristic appearance is going to always indicate towards only one type of anomaly and that is what is called as the mesiodense. So, the mesiodense is nothing but a supernumerary tooth which is conical in shape and that is why it is called, it is so, your uh, supernumerary tooth can be broadly classified based on the morphology and based on their location. So, a mesiodense is what is going to be based on its location, whereas for based on its morphology, it is going to be conical shape. So, coming to, this is the broad classification. On location, you have your mesiodense. Paramolar is right next to a molar. Distomolar is behind the third molars. Parapremolar is next to your premolars. Now, based on the morphology, you have conical, which is mesiodense. Puberculate, which is a type of tubercle like extension which is just seen in the bone. Third is supplemental. Now, supplemental is basically one type of tooth, a supernumerary tooth that very closely resembles the primary parent tooth. For example, the lateral incisor is said to be a supplemental supernumerary to the central incisor. And then you have odontomes. Odontomes are nothing but odontogenic tumors or hamartomas. They are multiple tooth like structures which are attached and they can be either complex or compound. Then based on the orientation, they can be vertical or normal, inverted and horizontal. Then position is, they can be placed buccally, they can be placed palatally or they can be placed both in the buccal as well as palatal direction. They are horizontally placed and they are, there is a orientation both on the buccal as well as the palatal aspect. So, this is a very broad classification. In addition to that, they can also be classified based on whether they are associated with syndromes or they are not associated with syndromes. So, this is syndromic and this is non-syndromic. Okay. So, these are the various different types of classifying supernumerary teeth. Another important point is you need to remember at least most of the syndro syndromes that are associated with supernumerary teeth because your ANS, PGI as well as PGI, PGI especially, loves asking uh, the syndromes that are associated with supernumerary teeth. So, you need to know your syndromes very well if you are going to be appearing for the exam. NEET also has started asking a lot of questions based on syndromes. So, it's better that you know about it. Okay.